All right. There we go. Just um, messing around with my setting. Kind of weird. A lot of um, a lot of there's not a lot of attacks for range, which makes it really aggravating. Anyway, we're swapping out our Dragon Bane Bolt for my Ascension ones because they do more damage against the Queen Black Dragon. And I've already got my Familiar full of food. I really should make some uh, Super Anti Fire Blast. But I haven't gotten around to doing it. Um, I think I've got everything I need. Really, uh, aggravating for good stuff. I think we're gonna do a bunch of kills, so I'm gearing up for um to be there for a little while. Oh man. Oh whatever, I'll just uh, shit. Anyway. Set up our quick prayers. Got um uh, range reflect on and range damage almost forgot what I was running I almost ran to the I almost went to that's control island So, come on down here. If you've done this quest, it makes the uh, Queen Black Dragon do a little bit less damage to you. And if you do Ritual of the Majarit, it lets you have these Dragon Bane Bolts, which do, I believe they do triple damage to the Queen Black Dragon. Which is not necessary at all, but it is for speed kills if you want to make more money. I got the Scrimshaw of Cruelty for damage and the Penance Aura to make uh, her give me free uh, whatever back. Anyway, so she mostly attacks with this just random attack. If you stay back from her, she will only range you. If you get close to her, she'll melee. Uh, you want to go through here in the little hole. Um, if you don't go through that with your super anti fire on, it will hit you real quick. Then you just after after she reels up and stops attacking you, you click on the first artifact, and then back to attacking her. And then we go down here, click on the second one, we're in phase two now. What's this phase three? And if you're on this right here for too long, if you can see the shiny, if you're on that for too long, it does um, 1500 damage per tick. Obviously, I can't stand on these for shit. I, I usually don't dodge them, I'm just showing you guys today. I normally don't even bother with it. Um, she has this attack right here, if you can see in the box. Um, she changes her carapace to either make her physical to physical damage or to um, to phys or magic. Physical being ranged and melee, and magic being magic. Uh, right now, she changed to be resistant to physical, but I'm still hitting the crap out of her. Uh, we're gonna have to do an extra kill because she didn't. She didn't even go through all her abilities, so I can show you guys. 
But you click on the final artifact, and the fight's over. Uh, that was a really slow kill, so hopefully you do better on the next one. Go ahead and waste my journal in, because it takes a little while. If I get free food out of, out of this box, I can save it. Oh, well, that'll do. Gonna go ahead and mix the crews up. I can take these with me to the next fight. Uh, taking the food out of the chest will allow you to stay longer without banking, which is super useful. And then you, you hit, you right click and hit quick start. You can hop right back into the fight. Uh, you can usually do two kills per sip. Of your overloads, and your if you don't have those, at least have the anti fire because it lasts five minutes. Um, she has two other abilities that she didn't even bother using last fight, so we're gonna go through them. Uh, normally, what I do for this is I just walk straight through it, because if you walk straight through it, it only hits you one time rather than twice for standing still. Um, there is one more thing you can do, is you can actually surge through, and it won't hit you at all. But timing that is really awful. Especially when she fires off two of them like that. I just surged into one like a dummy. Go ahead and step through it, and it'll hit you once. See, that's, these right here are the tortured souls she spawns. And... Um, they hit really, really, really hard when they when they first get summoned. That one missed me because I killed him quicker than he could hit me. But um, if you don't kill those right away, they will move to the side of the map and start screaming out this nonsense. And you got to kill them before they finish screaming out their nonsense, or the queen will freeze you and hold you for like 30 seconds and just absolutely um, murder you. You can survive it, but it's um, not worth the chance. Anyway, so this kill's about to be over. This, this is her super fire breath attack. You use that to charge your crossbow. It shows up in your chat box when she's getting ready to use it. So all you do is left click your um, your unfired rural crossbow. You just right, you left click and hit brandish, and it uh, forges your crossbow for you. We'll come back in here. I'm actually going to try to save my journal in this time. Put some food in there. We click my journal in. Uh, see nothing there. We're going to hop right back into the fight. I'm going to use this, I'm trying to save my adrenaline for the fight, because I'm going to try to get a speed kill on this one. I was killing the other one slower. See, I got two kills with one sip, so I'm going to try it again. 